Hey everybody, it is Saturday night, um, 16th, August 16th, it's August 16th, Saturday night, 10.30, I have exciting news, um, I think my second most watched video is Nice Chess Cooler Box, and those of you who watch um, this show, uh, as opposed to you know my main channel, um, know that I made one in May for a woodworking booth that I did and you know everybody liked looking at it but nobody wanted to buy it and I put it on Craigslist and a couple other places and then um, Wednesday night I think it was Jay Bates um, did a vlog uh, from his new garage and he mentioned that if anybody wants to sell stuff they can go on Facebook and look for a buy sell trade um, um, group in Facebook. So I typed in my city name, put in buy sell trade, and lo and behold, there was there was one there. Um, so that cooler box was sitting in my back, you know, patio since May. So what is August? You know, three or four months. Uh, you can, well, no, I'll show you in a minute. So. I went on, say Saturday, so Thursday night, I go on about 11 o'clock, 11 p.m., and post up some pictures, just like this, a little blurb, and at this point, you know, it's sitting in my backyard, so I figure, you know what, I'll put it in for 125 bucks, let's see if anybody will, um, anybody will buy it, and, you know, I, I put in the description, you know, unfinished, uh, if you want a painted one, 160 bucks, uh, if you want a stained and polyurethane one, or painted or sealed, so just, you know, a couple coats of polyurethane or sparurethane, uh, 160. Uh, if you want one um, stained and cleared, then it'd be, I think, 180. So I put it up, you know, 11 o'clock. Um, by midnight, you know, I had five likes on it. So, hey, okay, cool, let's go to bed. Get up at 6 and... Two hours ago at 4 a.m., there's a lady who says interested, so I put in there and said, you know, 125, it's yours, and it was a done deal. I set it up with her to meet today. Um, she messaged me this morning and wanted, you know, her husband wanted some polyurethane on it, so I told her, well, you know, we can't do it at 10. If you want to do that, you know, we can do it at 5. So when it, you know, I got this morning, put a you know, coat on, waited two or three hours, put another coat on. And then at 5 o'clock, gave it to her, and she paid me 150 bucks. Go figure. So, and, all day Friday I kept getting messages. Well, not all day, but during the day Friday I kept getting messages from that posting. And I sold three more, um, as far as, you know, or, or, so orders for three more. And they all paid deposits. Uh, one lady wants it paid in black. So she paid an $80 deposit. And the other two that just want it rustic and unfinished um, paid forty dollars deposits through PayPal. So I sold three more, all within the space of probably twelve hours. You know, four total. So I'm very excited. But went to Home Depot today and bought uh, thirty-five fence pickets and some paint, some black paint. Um, got some golden oak. Stay, um, stain because I bought enough stuff for four for four uh, ice chest boxes um, even though I only need three and I'm gonna try this gold oak and see how it, how it looks on the uh, on the cedar I have no idea we'll see and then oh my god I swear to god this thing weighs like 10 pounds um, I needed hinges and if you get them in a 12 pack you get like ten dollars off and I needed eight to be able to make, you know, four of these things and um, getting the, the the value pack ended up being like four dollars cheaper than just getting eight of them. So when I got these, got some more one-inch screws, got a shitload of uh, handles, and that's you know just for what I'm going to be doing here. Got some more foam brushes, because you never have too many foam brushes. And this is other stuff for sealing. 
Oh, and then uh, that one I had was leaking just a little bit, and I finally figured out that the seal that came with the ice chest, which I had on the inside with the screw bolted up against it, was just a little bit too small. So I went and got these uh, 5 8 inch round hose washers. So I think these go on the inside of the hose where you screw it into the spigot in the wall. But if you stretch it just a little bit, it fits over that half inch um, coupling, you know, the half inch pipe fitting that I have there, which you then screw into, and it made a good seal. So that fixed that problem. But um, today, you know, family stuff going on. You know, I went and got all the wood. Uh, I posted a picture on my Facebook page. Um, but I didn't really get to cut anything. So tomorrow I got to go to a car show, take some pictures. Um, I was thinking about bringing my truck to, you know, put it in the show. But if I do that, I don't know if I'm going to have time to get back and, and cut any wood. Um, the main thing I need to get done is, you know, get all the pieces cut to length and to width. Um, as far as putting it together, that's not a big deal. I can put it together during the week on the workbench, but I need to uh, get all that cut. So I'm debating whether I want to take my truck or not. Plus it's like 10.30 and I'm tired. But uh, that's pretty much, that's my day. That's my exciting news. Uh, that's what, you know, is going on this week. Um, as soon as this video is over, I'm going to, oh, the sawhorse stuff. That I'm definitely getting done tomorrow, no matter what. Um, all I basically need to do is get these pieces and make a inch and a half, or inch and a half wide notch, one and three quarter inches deep, right there, and a notch, and a notch, and a notch. Just for like proof of concept. And if I can get that, those cut, I can then, you know, put everything else together. That's, that's not too big of a deal. So crap, I gotta get that done. So I really think I'm not going to bring my truck tomorrow. Oh well. So, that is my big plans for tomorrow. Get these pieces milled, uh, mainly because I don't have a video for Tuesday. So I gotta get this done so I can have a video for Tuesday. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, like I said, at the end of this, I'm going to take all this crap off. I'm gonna get that the airplane swing and put it up here, so I can uh, put that on the list and see if you know anybody want to buy that. Just mainly because it's sitting here taking up space. But that's it. Tomorrow's a big day. Go take pictures. Work on the sawhorses, and they get all the pieces cut for the, um, well, actually what I did is, now that I think about it, you can tell I'm tired, I'm just rambling. Um, I have two ice test boxes due on Sunday, and those are the ones that are rustic that have no sealer, sealer on them. So my main thing is to get those two done by then, and then the following Sunday is when I, is the painted one is due, because I want to make sure the wood's all nice and dry before I paint it. And then uh, um, getting the one that looks nice and all that, you know, that's not a big deal. That can be done whenever. Um, so I got three that I, you know, two that I have to get done by next weekend, one the following. So I think tomorrow I'll be able to get this done and get that done because I'll have the table saw out and I'll put the dado blade in and, and get that done. But that's pretty much it. So my uh, exciting day for tomorrow. So definitely keep an eye out for next week. Actually, if you hit the subscribe button, then you'll be notified of how everything turns out next week for me getting those boxes to the people and getting the sawhorses done. But look for a video on Tuesday on the sawhorses, and we'll go from there. So subscribe, like, um, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. See you next time.